Hey everyone, Papa Red from Papa Red's Fishing. Well, it's March. Coronavirus is taking over the country. It's snowing. I can't go fishing. Let's make a bait. What do you want to make? Let's do something simple. This one, uh, this is my second video. First real video, so let's not get crazy with the bait. Bear with me, see what we can do. Not sure what we're gonna make yet. You've seen the title, so you already know. Help me out. Okay. All right, let's start putting some ideas on paper. Okay, so this is what we came up with. We're gonna do a little crankbait, nice little lip on it, simple, straight, forward to the point. We're gonna use some aspen for this one. Let's get this cut out. I've had this exacto knife since I was in college. Some of you younger viewers probably can't even fathom <laughs> how old this knife is. I love it though. Alright, let me make sure this is going to fit. Hope that'll work. Let's get this glued up. And we will head over. Didn't mean to do that the bandsaw. No offense. Not really that kind of person. All right, see you at the bandsaw. So we've got a rough cut out, throw it all over the place, got a rough cut out and now I'm going to start making the profile on the sides. One thing that I do like to do is I like to save the bottom cut, you can see where I cut that. And what I'll do when I go to start cutting out these profiles, instead of trying to hold a bait level while I'm trying to run the bandsaw on it in a smooth belly. I'm going to reattach this. I'm going to take some super glue and I'm going to put one small dot. You got to make it a little bit thicker so it doesn't just soak in. And I'm going to stick that right on there, line it up with the graph paper. I'm going to let that set up for just a minute. Once I get that squared away, I'm going to cut these, uh, right, draw these lines on the top so I can cut my profile. And then I'll meet you over at the bandsaw again. Okay, we're back over at the bandsaw. I've got the top profile of the bait drawn out, you can see. And what I was talking about is you can see this is glued in the exact spot that it was. So now, instead of trying to hold the bait level and make sure that it goes straight, you know, hold it this way. I'm gonna flip it over, and I've got a nice square surface that I can use to cut that. So here we go. Okay, so now we've got the rough shape cut out, and now you just take this bottom piece and pull it right off. You can go through and sand that and get it flat. And now we're going to hit this on the sander.
Okay, we're back at the bandsaw, and I forgot to video, but we have to cut the lip slot before we start to sand. happy with the shape on these sides. I'm going to round these out some more. Use an 80 grit to do that. In case anyone was wondering, these are the first two failed um, filming baits. I'll finish those eventually. Well, we've got a good start on this. So now we're going to start working on, uh, we're going to drill the eyes, we're going to start making some hardware, figure out where the lead's going to go. You know, I don't have a lead pot, but I do have a bunch of old sinkers and a very hot soldering iron. I'll show you how I do that in a little bit. too far ahead of ourselves. Let's make the lip for this. Using Lexon polycarbonate. Works great. Let's get the, the width on this. Nice flat spot. We'll go from there to there. And the lip's coming roughly 
into here from the bait. I don't think we're going to do three hooks. We're going to do two. We'll do the lead hole right there. Actually right there. And we'll do a hook right there. Another hook right there. And the line tag. I think I should have rounded that some more. Oh well, see what happens. Okay, time for lead. Don't know how much I'm gonna need. I want this to sink slowly. And I have too much to start and drill it out. So, go big or go home. Try that. That's not going to make that sink. No way. That might. So, like I was saying, no lead pot. Bunch of old sinkers. Probably shouldn't breathe this. Melt everything nice and flat. Pull that out. And let her cool.
Okay, so we've got the bait painted. Time to spray some white. dry. The pattern we're going to do on this one I think is bright. We're going to do copper base and then we're going to work our way up with some orange and some red and put some black with some black stripes and then we'll scale it. See how that turns out. It's all finished and we're going to put some clear coat on it. So there we have it, all finished, clear coats dry, hooks are on, like I said, pretty simple and basic for the first video. We can get into some uh, more intricate stuff later once I figure all these camera angles and everything out, but I'm going to try and uh, take this thing out in a little bit, you can see it's sunny out. Um, 
see if it action on this works like I would like to and uh, let you guys know see you in a bit Nice little wobble to it. You can feel it bumping off the bottom. just slightly bumped in the bottom. As it comes back, you can see it's looking like a bait fish that's kind of hitting the bottom, foraging. This might be good. good side to side action when you give it that jerk like you would a jerk bait but it's suspended down about two feet and when you give it that jerk it kind of shoots off to the side and dies it's got a pretty good action it might be enticing once we get in these warmer months this was kind of pulling it off the side but this could be a very good bait I would like to get this out to the strip mines where I fish and uh, try this out without the current conditions and see what it does for action well everyone, there you have it. Here's the finished bait. I think it turned out pretty good. Like I said in the beginning, this is just gonna be something simple. Uh, it turned out nice. The action was decent. Uh, still not quite exactly what I wanted, but uh, it's, it's gonna catch fish, I know that. But I just wanted to thank everyone for hanging along with me, checking me out. Um, I'm hoping that you like what I did. I'm definitely open for feedback, criticism, preferably constructive criticism. Uh, keep in mind this was my first real video, so if you don't mind, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. You know, I know the music, the camera angles, whatever. I want to do what you want to see. So um, hopefully in the next video we'll get into something a little more uh, detail oriented and we can start making some uh, some fun things. So anyway, Papa Red. I just want to thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next time.